I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. We had a big nor'easter blow into the northeast this week, so I had to tape the weekly video inside. Well, the paths between cannabis and Washington crossed again this week, but not in the usual legislative way. Last week, we broke news that two associates of President Trump and Mayor Giuliani that had been arrested for campaign finance violations also had their hands in the cannabis industry in Nevada. David Correa was arrested this week at a New York airport. GMR also reported on the ties between the already arrested Andre Kukushkin to the California cannabis market. Kukushkin and Correa are supposed to go back to court on Thursday this week. Afria stock jumped over 16% to trade at approximately $5.10 in early trading after the company reported that its revenue increased 849% to $126.1 million for the first quarter with net income of $16.4 million. That's great news because earlier they had been told that they were not going to be used to supply cannabis anymore uh, to another provider. Valens Grow Works reported its financial results for the third quarter of fiscal 2019 with revenue increasing 87.1% to $16.5 million. They also delivered net income of $5.9 million. Cannabis tech company Flow Hub raised an oversubscribed $23 million Series A financing round led by eVentures and Evolve Ventures, which is the venture fund backed by Kraft Heinz. And Poseidon Asset Management, they also had contributions from investors Nine Yards Capital, former NBA commissioner David Stern, Ikram Magdan Ishmael, who is the co-founder and former CEO of Venmo, among others. Orthogonal Thinker announced last month that it raised $2.5 million in capital. This funding completes an already $4 million in seed capital raised to date. They say they have more coming in. Orthogonal says it's going to use this financing to support intellectual property rights for plant-based psychoactive compounds. Essentially, they're doing work with mushrooms. Private company Holistic Industries closed on a $55 million uh, funding round. The multi-state operator started on the East Coast, but they've rapidly expanded to the Midwest and West Coast. They currently operate in California, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. Legion M is a fan-owned company, very unique. Their latest project is the Jay and Silent Bob reboot movie from director Kevin Smith, and it was screened two days this week as a Fathom event. The dynamic duo head to Hollywood to stop a reboot of their movie, and it contains lots of cannabis humor as well. The movie was released along with the launch of Jay and Silent Bob's private stash cannabis strains. Not too many movies come out and have a cannabis strain along with the launch. It is available to buy in California. Jay and Silent Bob plan to sell their private stash in other states. And one last note. The next Green Market Report conference will be on November 22nd in New York City. You can get your tickets at www.greenmarketsummit.com. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report.